Nehemiah wept and mourned. He fasted. And then thirdly, what did he do? He prayed. He prayed. And that shows us a third attitude that, that we have to have if we're going to build our lives up into something worthwhile. And that's this. Look to God for his presence and power each and every step of the way. Look to God for his presence and power each and every step of the way. In nothing that we just said about work and discipline and commitment and all that, in nothing did, did we ever say once that we leave grace behind. No. Grace is the foundation of it all. I can do all things, the Bible says. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I am more than a conqueror through him who loved us. It's not in us. So we pray. You've heard the, you've heard the saying, perhaps the Lord helps those who help themselves. Yes? A lot of Christians think that's in the Bible, but it's not. It's not even in the Bible because it's not biblical. Who said that? Anybody know? Ben Franklin. It's attributed to him. The Lord helps those who help themselves. There's a reason, though, it's not in our Bible. The saying isn't quite right because Ben is making it sound as though we start the process, we initiate, and then God says, oh, looky there, look over there. I, oh, there's somebody I'm going to help. They're being good. No, that's not Christianity. That's not the gospel. What's in the Bible is Philippians 2.12, where Paul writes, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. You see what Paul's saying there? The very act of desiring to change, of willing to change, that very act is because of God. Breathing on the embers of my faith, calling me to myself to wake up, even before the thought births in me that I need to repent, that I need to change. Guess what? It's God setting the table, preparing my heart, whispering in my ears, hey, don't you think it's time to start doing something about this? 